Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph and today I'm going to be talking to you about my Belfry and All Saints leather jacket. Woo. Okay, so I got this jacket over a year ago when I was in London, staying at my boyfriend's. And it was for my birthday, or around my birthday. But I justified it because there was a special, it was less expensive, and yeah, I, that was it. I wanted one forever, and it just, everything kind of fell into place. So I want to walk you guys through what I wish I knew before I bought it, kind of my thoughts after having the jacket for a year, and anything else like that. So, yeah. So to start, the jacket is $650 Canadian as of the website today, which is a lot of money. Like, I am not trivial about the fact that buying from contemporary and luxury designers means that you are you're paying the price tag for the brand. And I also realize that not everyone is going to look at $650 and go, that is good value. Well, okay, so one of the things. This leather jacket is beautiful and very well made, which is kind of how I justified the price tag to myself. All Saints makes some of my absolute favorite leather goods. Um, the only brand at this price point that I think really compares and is of the same standard is Macage. Um, and the benefit of Macage is Macage is Canadian, it's a Montreal based company, so tick for them. But All Saints, I believe, is a UK based company. Well, please, while I look this up. Yeah, so. They are British. Good. So here's the thing. It is a pricey leather jacket. Do I think that it is good value? Yeah, I do. I think it's a really great leather jacket. It is made in India, which is slightly disappointing. Um, for $650, I really do, you know, at a, the luxury contemporary high-end price point, I really do think brands should be manufacturing in Europe and the UK and Canada and the US, like I really don't think that they can't afford it. Um, yeah, that's it's a little disappointing. However, it is a beautifully made jacket. And even though I've had it for a year, it pretty much looks like it's brand new. There is a little bit of wear around the epaulettes, <laughs> these little things up here where, you know, like my backpack and bags and stuff kind of sit, and then same around the arms. One of my qualms about this jacket is the actual type of leather that it's used. It is a smooth leather, which, while it's beautiful and buttery to the touch, I'm constantly scared of scratching it. Like, constantly. And it's kind of a shame because a leather jacket, I feel like I want my leather jacket to be a little bit hardier and more like rough and tumble, ready to wear, and this I feel is a very much more delicate piece, but I still wear it all the time when the weather is appropriate for it. So I got a US size 2. I got a US size 2 for one reason and one reason only is because when I tried it on in store, it fit perfectly. It was fitted, it was a little bit tight in the arms, a little bit tight in the shoulders, and I wanted that because with leather jackets they do stretch out. So as you move, as you wear them, they kind of mold and fit your body. So the smaller you can get, the better because it's going to hug your body and fit all your contours that much better. So why the Balfern? The Balfern is pretty much the quintessential moto, motorcycle inspired cut leather jacket that All Saints does. It's one of their best sellers and for very good reason. It's very practical, it's very versatile, 
it is just edgy enough to make your preppy outfits look edgy and just, you know, clean looking enough and subdued enough to, you know, not just look edgy or grunge or, you know, it is, it's very versatile across any style of look you want to create. Now, when it comes to upkeep and maintenance, <laughs> there's actually maintenance that comes with a leather jacket that I don't do, but I should do. Like, you are supposed to dry clean your leather jacket, and you're supposed to, like, oil it and stuff, people say, or, like, wipe it down, things like that. There's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. I don't do any of that. So in terms of upkeep and maintenance, this is amazing. I just wear it, then when I take it off, I make sure to hang it out, let it air out. Um, if anything is like spilt on it or anything, I just wipe it down with a damp cloth. That sort of stuff. <sighs> yeah. I don't know. It is like $650 is a lot. So definitely you need to be prepared to keep this in your closet for a very long time. And the other thing is it's not vegan or fake leather. The shell is sheepskin. So yeah, there's going to be some vegans probably coming after me for this. However, it is real leather. So it's going to wear and develop character over time. And you just like, you need to be prepared for that, that over time, the look of your jacket may change slightly because as you wear it, like I said, first it's going to mold to your body and then it's going to develop some character and then it'll wear in and, you know, that sort of stuff. So you just kind of want to be aware of that. Things that I wish people had told me prior to buying the jacket. One is definitely go as small as you possibly can. I got a size that was fitted but I probably could have gotten a US zero and made it work and had it, but ended up with a two. I'm happy with it, but I definitely would recommend going as small as you possibly can and then, you know, working your way out. Um, I also wish someone had told me about the belt. The belt, if not done up, jangles. It makes noise, like like this as you're walking, like it, it does make noise and it's a very noticeable <laughs> sound as you're walking through. So like, I just wish someone had told me cause then when I wore it, I was like, what? Um, you don't notice it all the time, but you notice it when you're walking down the path in Toronto when it's you and there's one other person and all you hear is like jingle, 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 jingle. The other thing that I wish I had known is how, oh, I don't know how to phrase this. Um, I wish I had known how to style it, I guess, more. Like, I knew the overall what it was going to look like, but I wish someone had been like, you know, if you have this shape, you know, tunic, it comes down it's gonna look like this like I had to play with a lot of trial and error with that sort of stuff and what I wear it with but I mean everyone does that but I just kind of wish I had, you know someone else who had worn this jacket that I could have seen and looked at him and like oh that looks really cute like I can definitely wear it like that um and I definitely wish someone had told me about this like I got this jacket and then I really 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 got into the quality over quantity thing it was kind of the jacket that turned me. I, I wish someone had told me that, you know, you're going to get this jacket and this jacket's going to sit in your wardrobe for, you know, years. And it probably would have swayed my personal opinion. And I would have chosen to save for an acne leather jacket, which is a little thicker, a little hardier. Definitely more expensive, but definitely a even tougher leather jacket that's going to last even longer. And also, I have always 
always wanted that leather jacket like I wanted this one too but this one is kind of like the baby steps into that like I kind of wish I had just saved and then bit the bullet and got you know the the high the higher end of the spectrum like the top quality one not top quality like the <laughs> the luxury model versus the in between you know like yeah um that's definitely one thing if you're torn between getting the All Saints jacket to try it out and then get the acne jacket later as an upgrade. Uh, I would say if you have the means, just get the acne jacket. If you don't have the means, this All Saints jacket is amazing within its own right. Like it is a beautiful leather jacket, just my personal preference because I'm only ever gonna have one of these in my wardrobe <clears throat> at a time like this style. I wish I had just gotten the acne jacket, which will last me from now until, you know, eternity, end of time, versus this jacket, which I know I can tell from the leather and stuff will eventually wear out and wear down. And, you know, but yeah, beyond just that, which is my own personal preference and kind of my wardrobe space and planning, All Saints, I think I already tried this, but like All Saints and Macage are pretty much the best price point at that very high quality level. And honestly, it can be beat. Like, I'm so happy with the jacket a year on. I still wear it all the time. Yes, do I wish I had the acne one, but I'm very happy having the All Saints one. So, yeah. But anyways, these are... The things that I wish I knew before I bought the Balfour leather jacket from All Saints, as well as kind of my review of it. Um, yeah, if there's anything else you guys want to know, let me know in the comments and I will answer all of your questions or all the ones that I can. If not, I will Google and answer them based off of what Google says. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Must be something underneath